The final numbers are in regarding the tens of billions of dollars, that's millions, not billions, of cost overruns on the Paw Federal Building in downtown Rowan. We've been digging into the final price tag, which brought controversy after the dollars kept adding up. And it's a story you'll only see tonight on 10 News. We have learned the cost for repairs is officially $30 million over the original budget. A spokesman with the agency overseeing the project says most work wrapped up this week and should be finished soon. Recent work has included replacing the brick exterior, making perimeter security upgrades, and repairing the attached parking garage. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is live from the POF building with new information and perspective on this project. Tommy? Many have considered it a costly eyesore for nearly a decade. So with renovations wrapping up here at the POF building, now we have a final price tag for the 40-year-old building. Over the past nine years, construction has been costly. It's blocked busy Franklin Road and exposing the outer walls. It hasn't looked pretty. The General Services Administration is the federal agency overseeing the project. It says the areas affected inside and outside the building are mostly ready for use. GSA documents from 2009 show it was supposed to top out at $42 million. Today, we have the final numbers. Phase one started the next year, and that alone cost 10 million more than that, coming in at $52.1 million for efficiency and structural upgrades in part. Phase two started in 2015. That totaled $15.7 million and included work on the facade, perimeter security, and the parking garage. There were about $4 million in other repairs over the years on walls and elevators. That brings the total to $72 million, $30 million more than the original budget. Bad original construction is one reason for the extra costs. In 2012, workers found a large bulge and crack in the brick exterior. They believe it was from, quote, poor installation and inadequate design. This building, which is primarily used for federal courts, hence the federal funding, was a big get for Roanoke in the late 60s. Then Mayor well, Benton uh, Dillard was excited for its arrival. I consider it very good news. In the past decade, it's been covered in controversy. Among others, Bob Goodlatte has remained critical of the renovations. The now former U.S. congressman says the government should have sold the building. This is a disgrace in terms of how this bureaucracy uh, has wasted the taxpayers' money, and uh, no one's been held accountable. And Goodlatte maintains that the government should not have made the repairs. We'll tell you why and why he says this, these improvements still are not good enough. That's coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. Live in Roanoke, I'm Tommy Lopez. 10 News, working for you.